Hi all, in this video we will see what is AWS Transit Gateway and a simple demo to set up Transit Gateway. A Transit Gateway is a central hub connecting different AWS account VPCs, AWS VPN and Direct Connect Gateways. Without Transit Gateway, for every VPC to connect to another VPC and on perm there should be a VPC pairing and VPN connection for every connections. As infrastructure increases, the network becomes more and more complex. As new VPC comes in, new VPC pairing has to be established. And you must maintain a separate route table within each VPC. To avoid this complexity, AWS introduced Transit Gateway. Transit Gateway is a central hub which helps to connect different VPCs and on-prem data center through VPN connection and direct connect, which acts as a cloud router between them. Before, if you want to add any new VPC, it should be added as a VPC pairing, which is more complex. Now, it can be easily connected to the Transit Gateway, which is highly scalable and highly available. And it is a one place to monitor and maintain your network. If you have a two Transit Gateway in two different regions, it can be connected to the Transit Gateway pairing. The data traveling between the Transit Gateway pairing uses AWS Global Network, so it is highly secured because it is encrypted automatically rather than the public network. To set up Transit Gateway, each VPC, VPN or Direct Connect must be attached to your Transit Gateway as an attachment. Every attachment must be associated to a single Transit Gateway route table, which supports static and dynamic routes. Attachments can be configured to propagate the known VPC CIDR ranges automatically. VPN Customer Gateway and Direct Connect Gateway will be advertised as by the customer BGP. The routes from the VPC to the transit gateway must be manually added to the respective VPC route table. Now we will show how to set up a transit gateway. For this demo, I have created a three VPCs with their respective subnets and EC2 in that. First we will create a transit gateway and we will attach the three VPCs to the transit gateway and we'll check the transit gateway route table which will automatically propagate the VPC attachments and we will modify their respective VPC route tables to add the routes needed and then we will test the connections between all the VPCs through the transit gateway. Okay, let's start with the demo. For this demo, we have created three VPCs and the respective subnets and the EC2 in the VPCs. If you go to my console, I have a three VPCs and created subnets respective for that and I EC2 in that subnet. Let's test out the connections between the three VPC EC2s. I'm trying to connect a EC2 from VPC2. I don't see a connection. And I'm trying from VPC3 EC2. I don't see any connections. This EC2 is from VPC1. The next step is to create a transit gateway to establish a connection between the three VPCs. So I'm trying to create a new transit gateway. Let's name as transit gateway, my transit gateway and description. And I'm selecting the default options. I'm selecting ECMP, DNS support. ECMP is for multipathing and default route table association and default propagation which is already enabled and i'm going to select the auto accept if you want you can accept manually as well okay i've created my transit gateway which will take some time to get to active state let's wait for some time to get it active now the transit gateway is active then we will create the transit gateway attachments. We'll create a new transit gateway attachment. I'm selecting my transit gateway. And if you see, like, there are a few attachment types. We have created VPC attachments. We are going to create a VPC attachments. We can create VPN, pairing connections, and direct connect. Depends on the attachment type. Now we are creating VPC. So I'm naming as VPC1 and selecting VPC1 and it will be a public subnet. So we 
same way we have to create for all the VPCs. I'm naming as VPC2, selecting VPC2, and it is also a public subnet. Now we'll create for the VPC3. And you should be noted right, it is a private subnet. I'm selecting private subnet. And same, it will take some time to get it active. We'll wait for some time to get it active. Okay, here we have created the transit gateway. Now we need to attach the three VPCs to the transit gateway. We have created attachments. Uh, it should be available by now. Yeah, it's available. Let's check the transit gateway route table. If you see the transit gateway route table, the association for the three VPCs and the propagations are automatically done. And you have the single VPC, uh, sorry, transit gateway route table attached to the transit gateway. Now we have created the connections and we have created the attachments. We have checked the transit gateway route table. The next step will be we have to modify the respective VPC route tables to add the routes which are needed to make the establish the connection between the VPCs. So let's go to the VPC section and you see I'm selecting VPC1. We'll go to these respective route tables. We should add the respective routes for the transit gateway. Say we select the public subnet for the VPC1. We need to edit the routes here. We need to select the transit gateway. Same way you need to attach for the VPC3 as well. So I have attached the route table for VPC1. We have to do the same. I'm adding the routes for the VPC2. Same way I need to attach to a private route table of VPC3. Attached to the transit gateway. Now I have created the route tables and I have established the connections between the three VPCs. Let's test it out now. I'm connecting the from VPC1 EC2. I'm connecting to VPC2 EC2. See? Now the connection is established. Let's check for VPC3 EC2. Same. You are able to establish the connection. Okay, let's try out the next option. Okay, let's go to the VPC1 route table. I will remove the VPC3 route. Okay, I have edited the route tables. Let's test it out the EC2 of VPC3. See, 
you cannot connect it this is because we have not established a connection and we have blocked the connections between vpc1 and vpc3 so this way you can block or allow the vpc connections between the in, through the transit gateway